A push and pull aircraft has a combination of forward mounted tractor propellers and rear mounted pusher propellers. This configuration continued to be used after pure pushers plummeted in popularity during the First World War. The push pull configuration commonly mounts two propellers in the middle of the aircraft, either on the wing or the fuselage, decreasing drag and making it possible to still fly even if one of the engines fails. In this episode, I'm sharing my top list of five of the best push-pull aircraft currently in use or being developed today, including their price and specs. Watch until the end to see my top pick. This is Aviation Federation, sharing with you exciting information about the latest and greatest in aviation and beyond. Starting at number 5 is the Casio, which comes from a series of hybrid electric aircraft produced by the startup company Volt Aero. This aircraft can accommodate up to six passengers. It has a total weight of 11,023 pounds or 5,000 kilograms. It has a maximum range of 650 nautical miles or 1,200 kilometers and a maximum speed of 200 knots or about 370 km per hour. A slender, capsule-shaped fuselage and four wings distinguish the Casio visually. A tailplane attached to the fuselage with twin outriggers is a striking design choice. Volt Aero CEO Jean Borti says unveiling the Casio production design represents the latest step in their development of a completely new family of aircraft. The four-seater variant of the Casio 330 will be released first, with deliveries scheduled for the end of 2022. No price is stated yet for the Casio, but the company estimates lower ownership costs than conventional planes for this hybrid electric aircraft. At number four is the Rutan Defiant, a twin-engine home-built airplane. This five-seater was designed for the Rutan Aircraft Factory by aerospace engineer Bert Rutan. It has speeds of up to 188 knots or 342 km per hour and a range of up to 980 nautical miles or 1,800 km. The Defiant has a total gross weight of almost 3,000 pounds or 1,360 kg. This aircraft has the capability to fly even in low-altitude situations. This composite construction aircraft has three lifting surfaces. A front wing, the main wing, and a traditional cruciform empennage. A pair of square section struts, which also serve as fuel tanks, link the front and main wings. For short takeoff and landings, both wings have fowler flaps on a portion of their span. The Defiant also has a spring-mounted tailwheel assembly. The four-seat cabin is enclosed by a mix of smooth, squared, and teardrop-shaped windows. The baseline price for this model is estimated at US$85,000. Flying at number 3 is the Wild Double Ender. This plane is an experimental double-engine service aircraft, designed to operate in the bushes. The redundant engines reduce the likelihood of motor failure and adverse laying. It can accommodate only two people, and it has a gross weight of 2,500 pounds or 1,134 kilograms. It has a cruise speed of 94 knots or 174 km per hour, and a maximum range of 840 nautical miles, or 1,560 km. The double ender features a bubble canopy with no visual distortions, made entirely out of plexiglass. A big part of the fuselage is covered with Auratex fabric to reduce weight. Additionally, the belly pod has an emergency fuel dump system that allows the pod to release fuel in a matter of seconds, in case of an engine failure. This allows the pilot to reduce weight as a last resort to land safely. 
While still in development, the estimated unit price for this aircraft is about 90,000 US dollars. At number two is the Cessna Skymaster. The Skymaster is a two-engine American civil airplane by one of the leaders in the aviation industry. Its motors are fitted into the nose and back of the fuselage in pod form. It has a maximum speed of 173 knots or 320 km per hour and a maximum range of 840 nautical miles or over 1,550 km. It has a total weight of 2,665 pounds or 1,200 kilograms and can accommodate up to five people on board. A pilot who wants to increase redundancy by switching from a single to a twin can do so with this aircraft. However, pilots may be forced to deal with more cabin noise, operating peculiarities, and tightly packaged systems that make maintenance more difficult. This may argue in favor of a single engine or a traditional twin engine plane, but not necessarily with the Cessna Skymaster. Despite it no longer being in production, it is still regarded as a great aircraft for all kinds of travel situations. The average unit cost for this aircraft in excellent condition is 100,000 US dollars. Before we move on to the number one spot, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think and show your support if you enjoyed this video. Finally, at number one is Dornier Sea Star. It is without a doubt, the only push-pull aircraft with multi-purpose capabilities and industry-leading performance. The Sea Star is powered by two highly reliable turboprop engines and features a lightweight fuselage built with composite materials. It has a gross weight of 6,393 pounds or 2,900 kilograms. It has a maximum speed of 180 knots or 330 kilometers per hour and a maximum range of 900 nautical miles or 1,667 kilometers. The Sea Star's spacious cabin offers more space than any other aircraft in its class of seaplanes. It has 6 to 12 passenger seats that can be configured in a variety of ways. The executive interior features ergonomic seats with an option for an enclosed lavatory. Buyers can customize the interiors with a variety of high-quality leather, fabrics, wood veneers, and metal plating. In-flight storage and wardrobe space are also available to passengers. The baseline price for this aircraft leads the flock at 7.2 million US dollars. So, are you a fan of push-pull airplanes? Do you believe in the advantages of this aircraft configuration? Share your thoughts in the comments down below. If you want more aviation goodness, don't forget to check out my other videos. Thank you for watching and fly safe.